perfect match, amazing secret to identify your ideal partner. Written and published by Relationship Matters. The Introduction. You're about to set off on a fascinating journey with Perfect Match. This book will guide you through the intricate labyrinth of love and relationships using real life stories as your compass. Imagine uncovering the secrets to identifying your unique relationship needs, unraveling shared values, and cultivating a relationship based on trust and understanding. Sure, it's a challenge, but isn't a fulfilling relationship worth the effort? Stay tuned as we navigate these uncharted territories together. Lesson 1. The concept of a perfect match. Understanding the concept of a perfect match isn't just about finding someone who checks all your boxes, it's about discovering a partner who complements you, challenges you, and enriches your life in unexpected ways. The journey to finding your perfect match is a path of self-discovery, and it's only through understanding your own needs, values, and aspirations that you can identify what you're truly looking for in a partner. It's not about seeking perfection, but rather finding someone who's perfect for you. This means your perfect match won't necessarily be flawless, but they'll be perfectly suited to you, your lifestyle, and your goals. They'll encourage your growth, support your dreams, and respect your boundaries. You'll feel a deep connection with them, rooted in mutual understanding and shared experiences. Your perfect match should also be someone who's willing to work through conflicts with you not someone who avoids them. Remember, it's the effort you both put into the relationship that determines its success, not the absence of problems. It's about finding balance, seeking compromise, and growing together. The concept of a perfect match is complex and deeply personal. It's not a one-size-fits-all scenario, and what works for one person might not work for another. But by staying true to yourself, being open and honest about your needs, and maintaining healthy communication, you can find a partner who not only meets your expectations, but exceeds them in ways you never thought possible. Diving into the realm of relationship and love stories can offer invaluable insights into the dynamics of successful partnerships and the diverse ways in which people discover their perfect match you'll find that these tales are more than just entertainment, they're a reflection of real-life experiences, triumphs, and struggles. As you explore these narratives, you'll encounter stories of love that blossomed in the most unexpected places, relationships that endured the test of time, and partnerships that grew stronger through challenges. You'll find common themes and patterns that might resonate with your own experiences. These stories aren't just about finding love, they're about maintaining it, about maneuvering through the complexities of intimate relationships. But remember, while these stories can guide and inspire, they're not blueprints to follow blindly. Each love story is unique, just as your journey will be. What works for one may not work for another. It's about understanding the underlying principles, taking away what resonates with you and applying it to your own life in a way that feels right. These tales of love and relationships serve as a mirror, reflecting the realities of seeking and holding onto love. They offer a chance to learn from others' experiences, not just from their successes but also their mistakes. Lesson 2. Identifying your unique relationship needs. Often, the most vital step in finding your perfect match is pinpointing your unique relationship needs. It's not about creating an impossible checklist, but about understanding what truly matters to you in a partner. Your needs aren't just preferences, they're the non-negotiable aspects of a relationship that make you feel satisfied and fulfilled. Now, you might be wondering, how do I identify my unique relationship needs start by reflecting on your past relationships? What made you feel content and secure? What caused dissatisfaction or discomfort? Don't rush this process. It's crucial to give yourself enough time to reflect and understand your emotions. Next, imagine your ideal relationship. What does it look like? How does it make you feel? Visualizing your desired relationship can help you identify your needs. For instance, if you imagine a relationship filled with intellectual conversations, it indicates that intelligence or intellectual compatibility is a need for you. 
Remember, it's okay if your needs differ from societal norms or those around you. You're seeking your perfect match, not anyone else's. Don't let the fear of judgment or the desire to fit in cloud your judgment. Trust yourself and your instincts. Identifying your unique relationship needs is a journey of self-discovery. It's an opportunity to understand yourself better and clarify what you truly want in a partner. So be patient with yourself, be honest and embrace this journey. And it's an important step towards finding your ideal match. Once you've identified your unique relationship needs, it's equally vital to uncover shared values and evaluate compatibility with potential partners. You're not merely searching for someone who ticks off all your boxes, you're seeking someone who resonates with your core beliefs and principles. This step is critical because shared values form the bedrock of a meaningful, lasting relationship. Start by reflecting on what's most important to you in life. Is it family, career, faith, or perhaps a passion for travel and adventure? Once you've nailed down your core values, you can start to look for these in potential partners. You'll find it's easier to build a connection with someone who shares your values and understands your passions. Next, consider compatibility. It's not just about shared interests and hobbies, though they're important. It's also about how you handle disagreements, how you communicate, how you handle stress, and how you support each other's dreams. It's about how you feel when you're with them. Do you feel seen, heard, loved, and respected? Remember, compatibility doesn't mean that you must agree on everything. It's okay to have differences they add spice to the relationship. What's important is how you navigate these differences. Do you respect each other's views and find ways to compromise? Uncovering shared values and evaluating compatibility is a profound process. It requires honesty with yourself and with your potential partner. But it's a journey that's well worth it, bringing you a step closer to finding your perfect match. Lesson 3. Navigating the journey of self-discovery. As you journey towards finding your perfect match, it's important to remember that this process also involves a thorough exploration of self. This path, often referred to as self-discovery, is a personal voyage that takes you into the depths of your mind, emotions, and desires. While it can feel intimidating at first, it's an essential step to truly understanding what you want in a relationship. Take time to introspect, allowing yourself to dig into your past experiences and understand how they've shaped you. Reflect on your triumphs and failures, your likes and dislikes, your hopes and fears. This isn't about criticism, but about gaining clarity and understanding of your unique self. Remember, there's no specific timeline for self-discovery. It's a process that unfolds gradually and at its own pace. It's also not a linear journey. You'll have moments of clear insight followed by periods of confusion. That's perfectly normal. Embrace the ebb and flow, and remember, it's about progress, not perfection. During this process, you might uncover aspects of yourself you weren't aware of. This could be enlightening, sometimes even a little unsettling. But don't be disheartened. This awareness is a powerful tool for personal growth and will help you make healthier decisions in your relationships. Navigating the journey of self-discovery is a valuable step towards finding your perfect match. By understanding yourself better, you're paving the way to recognizing who complements you best, forms a strong connection with you, and ultimately, who'll be your ideal partner. In the pursuit of your perfect match, it's crucial to recognize the qualities that make up an ideal partner for you. You're not just looking for someone who catches your eye, you're seeking a soul connection, a bond that transcends the physical. You're yearning for someone who understands you, values you, and loves you for who you are. Think deeply about what you truly value in a partner. Is it their sense of humor? Their ability to listen? Maybe it's their kindness, their intellect, or their unwavering support. These qualities are the foundation of a lasting, loving relationship. They're what'll sustain you through the ups and downs of life. Consider also what you need from a partner regarding emotional support. Do you crave someone who's always there to lend an ear, or do you prefer a partner who gives you space to process your feelings independently? 
There's no right or wrong answer, only what feels right for you. Pay attention to how potential partners make you feel. Do they respect your boundaries, listen to your concerns, and celebrate your achievements? If so, they might be a good fit. Always remember, your ideal partner is someone who brings out the best in you, someone who encourages your growth, and someone who loves you unconditionally. Lesson 4. Overcoming Misconceptions About Relationships Understanding the qualities of an ideal partner is only half the battle it's equally important to debunk common misconceptions about relationships that can cloud your judgment and hinder your pursuit of a perfect match. It's time to clear the fog and pave the way for a more informed perspective on relationships. First off, let's dispel the myth that an ideal relationship means smooth sailing with no disagreements. Conflict is natural and inevitable in any relationship, even the healthiest ones. It's how you handle those disagreements that matter, not their absence. It's essential to communicate effectively, understand each other's perspectives, and find a resolution that respects both parties' feelings. Another common misconception is the idea that your partner should be your everything, your best friend, lover, therapist, and more. While it's wonderful to share deep connections with your partner, it's also important to have a strong network of other relationships, friends, family, mentors. Relying solely on your partner for all emotional support can be draining and create an unhealthy dynamic. Lastly, don't fall for the illusion that there's a perfect partner out there, a soulmate who will complete you. This sets you up for disappointment as no one is perfect. Instead, focus on finding a partner who shares your values, treats you with respect, and is willing to work through challenges together. Building a deep emotional intimacy with your partner is like crafting a masterpiece it requires patience, dedication, and a shared vision. It's not about merely being in a relationship, it's about being connected at a deeper level. It's about understanding and accepting your partner's emotions, feelings, thoughts, and experiences. To foster emotional intimacy, start with open and honest communication. Don't just talk about your day or your plans, discuss your dreams, fears, and feelings. Let your partner into your world and, in turn, take the time to truly understand theirs. Your partner should be your confidant, the one person you feel comfortable sharing your deepest secrets and biggest dreams with. Emotional intimacy also means being there for each other, especially during tough times. It's about offering a shoulder to lean on, an ear to listen, and a heart to understand. It's about showing your partner that you're there for them, no matter what. This level of support and understanding can greatly deepen your emotional bond. Lesson 5. Embracing the diversity of relationships Embracing the diversity of relationships requires acknowledging and appreciating that each romantic connection is as unique as the individuals involved. Your relationship isn't meant to mimic that of your friends, your parents, or those picture-perfect couples on social media. It's about you and your partner, your shared experiences, your unique connection, and your personal journey of love. In a world where we're often inundated with images of what love should look like, it's essential to remember that there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach to relationships. Love doesn't always fit into a neat, predictable mold. It's sometimes messy, sometimes serene and always beautifully diverse. It's okay if your relationship doesn't mirror the conventional ideals. You don't have to fit into a predefined box. Your love story is yours to write, with its own rhythm and rhyme. Embrace the uniqueness of your relationship because it's in this diversity that the magic of love truly lies. Appreciating the diversity in relationships also means respecting and valifying different types of love. Whether it's a cross-cultural relationship, an interfaith union, or a same-sex partnership, each love story is precious and worthy of respect. The essence of love remains the same, regardless of the exterior form it takes. While you're weaving the unique tapestry of your love story, it's important to foster mutual understanding and empathy, the threads that truly bind a relationship together. These aren't just buzzwords, but essential elements that can make your relationship thrive in the long run. 
Mutual understanding means being able to see the world through your partner's eyes, appreciating their perspective even when it differs from your own. It's about recognizing their emotions, needs and desires and responding with sensitivity. This doesn't mean you should lose yourself in your partner's world. Far from it, it's about balancing your individuality with a shared vision. Empathy, on the other hand, is deeper and more personal. It's feeling what your partner feels, sharing in their joy and pain. It's not just sympathizing, but truly understanding their emotions, even when they're different from your own. Empathetic communication, where you listen with an intent to understand rather than respond, strengthens the bond between you and your partner. Treat every conversation as an opportunity to understand your partner better. Ask open-ended questions, listen without interrupting, and validate their feelings. It's not always easy, but it's worth the effort. Lesson 6. Navigating the complexities of commitment. As you deepen your understanding and empathy, it's natural to encounter the intricate aspects of commitment, a journey that requires both courage and patience. You're just beginning to steer through the labyrinth of love and relationships, and commitment is a significant part of this journey. Remember, commitment isn't a destination, it's a journey itself. It's not about the grand, sweeping promises made in the throes of passion, but about the everyday choices you make, the compromises you embrace, and the sacrifices you're willing to make. It's about showing up, day in and day out, even when times get tough. Commitment is also about acceptance. Acceptance of your partner's flaws, their quirks, their past and their future. It's about understanding that no one is perfect, including yourself, and choosing to love your partner in spite of, and because of their imperfections. It's about acknowledging that love isn't always about the butterflies in your stomach, but also about the comfort and stability that comes with knowing that someone has your back, no matter what. However, commitment doesn't mean losing yourself in the process. It's important to maintain your individuality, your dreams, your aspirations. It's about finding the right balance, a dynamic equilibrium that allows you to grow as a person, even as you grow together as a couple. In the end, navigating the complexities of commitment isn't just about finding the right partner, but also about becoming the right partner. Commit to love, commit to growth, commit to growth, commit to the journey. In the intricate dance of life, you may find that balancing personal growth and relationships poses a unique set of challenges. Nurturing a deep connection with someone else while maintaining your individuality is a delicate act. However, recognizing that these two aspects of life aren't mutually exclusive is crucial. In fact, they can harmoniously coexist and form a foundation for a satisfying, loving relationship. Personal growth isn't about losing yourself in the relationship. It's about evolving into the best version of yourself for yourself. It involves understanding your strengths, weaknesses and passions, continuously learning, evolving and expanding your boundaries. Fostering your individual growth doesn't indicate selfishness or neglect towards your partner. Instead, it demonstrates your commitment to self-improvement. Simultaneously, being in a relationship isn't about compromising your personal growth. It's about sharing your journey, hopes, dreams and fears with another person. It's about growing together, not only as individuals but as a united team. It involves supporting each other's journey and celebrating each other's successes. Balancing personal growth and relationships can be daunting, yet it's not insurmountable. It involves finding the right equilibrium where your individual growth enhances your relationship and your relationship nurtures your personal growth. It's about acknowledging and embracing the fact that your personal growth and your relationship are interconnected and equally significant. Lesson 7. Embracing the power of communication. Certainly, embracing the power of communication plays a pivotal role in maintaining a healthy, fulfilling relationship. It's not just about talking or exchanging words, it's about sharing feelings, thoughts, hopes, and even fears. When you reveal to your partner, you create a bond that transcends mere physical connection. It's the thread that weaves your hearts and minds together, creating an intimacy that's as profound as it's beautiful. 
Now, how do you harness this power? It's simpler than you think. Start with active listening. When your partner speaks, don't just hear the words, understand them. Immerse yourself in their sentiments and respond with empathy and sincerity. It's not about fixing problems or finding solutions, it's about feeling heard and understood. Remember, communication isn't a one-way street. It's essential that you express your own thoughts and feelings too, even if they're difficult to articulate. Be honest, be open, and be brave. Your vulnerability can be the key to accessing deeper levels of connection. Lastly, never underestimate the power of nonverbal communication. A reassuring touch, a meaningful look, or a comforting silence can speak volumes. These subtle cues can strengthen your bond and help you navigate through any storm. Embracing the power of communication is no small feat, but it's worth every effort. It deepens your understanding of each other, fosters mutual respect, and cultivates a love that's both enduring and enriching. Navigating relationship challenges can feel daunting, but keep in mind every couple encounters obstacles, and it's these trials that truly strengthen the bond between you. It's common to come across misunderstandings, conflicts, and even periods of emotional disconnect. Yet these hurdles aren't indications of an impending doom, but opportunities to learn, grow, and understand each other better. Firstly, it's crucial to bear in mind that disagreements are normal. They're not a sign that your love is fading, but a reminder that you're two distinct individuals with unique perspectives. When disagreements arise, acknowledge the other's viewpoint and express your own thoughtfully. It's not about winning an argument, but understanding each other. Secondly, periods of emotional disconnect can be challenging. It's okay to feel distant, sometimes it doesn't mean your connection is lost. It's simply a phase that requires patience and efforts to reconnect. Remember to communicate your feelings openly, without blaming your partner. Lastly, it's vital to address any emotional baggage from past relationships. It's natural to feel protective of your heart, but unresolved issues can hinder your current relationship. It's important to recognize these feelings, confront them, and work towards healing. But Lesson 8. Nurturing Healthy Boundaries and Respect While maneuvering the complexities of relationships, it's crucial that you establish and nurture healthy boundaries to show respect for each other's individuality. These aren't walls to keep your partner out, but guidelines that protect your emotional, physical, and mental health. It's a way of communicating what you're comfortable with and what causes discomfort. When setting boundaries, you need to be clear about your needs and expectations. This involves a lot of self-awareness and honesty. You've to know what values you hold dear, the things you won't compromise on, and where you draw the line in your interactions. Remember, boundaries aren't about controlling your partner's behavior. It's about controlling your own responses and decisions. You can't dictate how your partner should act, but you can determine how you'll react or what you'll accept. This approach fosters mutual respect and understanding, which is crucial for a healthy relationship. However, establishing boundaries isn't a one-time event. It's an ongoing process that requires constant communication and negotiation. You might need to adjust them as your relationship evolves or as you grow as individuals. And that's okay. I am. Respecting your partner's boundaries is equally important. It shows that you value their feelings and needs as much as your own. It also helps build trust, which is indispensable for deep, intimate connections. But that's a topic for our next discussion. In essence, nurturing healthy boundaries and respect is about balancing your needs with your partners, fostering a sense of security, and promoting mutual respect. It's these qualities that pave the way for a perfect match. In the dance of love, trust serves as the rhythm that guides your steps, allowing vulnerability to become a shared strength in your relationship. Trust isn't merely about believing in your partner's words and actions. It's about feeling secure in their love, knowing they'll respect your boundaries, value your feelings, and cherish your shared secrets. Building trust, however, doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, 
and it requires patience, honesty, and consistent effort from both partners. Start by being open and honest with your feelings. It's okay to express your fears, your dreams, your insecurities. Your partner isn't a mind reader and neither are you. Communicating your feelings honestly creates a safe space for vulnerability. Vulnerability, on the other hand, is about stripping away the masks and letting your true self be seen. It's about revealing your imperfections, your weaknesses and your fears. It's about showing your partner that you trust them enough to let them see the real you. Remember, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be imperfect. In fact, it's in these moments of vulnerability that real intimacy is built. Building trust and embracing vulnerability in relationships can be challenging. It takes courage to open up and let someone in. But remember, a relationship without trust and vulnerability is like a dance without rhythm. It's disjointed, uncoordinated, and ultimately unfulfilling. So take the risk, open up, and let the magic of trust and vulnerability guide your dance of love. Lesson 9. Navigating Conflict Resolution Strategies Just as trust and vulnerability form the bedrock of a strong relationship, knowing how to navigate conflicts effectively can be the compass that keeps your love journey on course. It's inevitable that disagreements will arise they're simply a part of life. However, the way you handle these disagreements can make or break your relationship. The first step towards effective conflict resolution is to understand that disagreements aren't a battlefield but a platform for growth. What's essential isn't winning the argument, but understanding your partner's perspective. Listen, really listen, to their viewpoints and feelings. Your partner's feelings are just as valid as yours, and understanding them can foster empathy and respect. Second, avoid the blame game. Instead of pointing fingers, focus on how you feel and express it without accusing. Use I statements, such as I feel upset when instead of you always. It's not about who's right or wrong, it's about reaching a resolution that satisfies both parties. Third, take a time out if things get too heated. It's okay to step away from the conversation and calm down. Come back when you're both ready to discuss things in a calm, rational manner. Lastly, remember to forgive and let go. Holding on to past hurts only breeds resentment and poisons your relationship. Once a conflict is resolved, leave it in the past and move forward. Conflicts aren't roadblocks. They're opportunities for growth and deeper understanding. Remember, it's not about who wins or loses the argument, it's about strengthening your bond and nurturing your love. Every successful relationship cherishes the beauty of individuality, recognizing that it's your unique personalities and interests that make your love story truly one of a kind. But it's not always easy to celebrate those differences. It takes patience, understanding and acceptance to truly appreciate your partner's quirks and habits. Your partner's individuality is a gift, not a challenge. It's what makes them interesting, exciting and unique. It's the reason why you fell in love in the first place. You're not looking for a carbon copy of yourself, but rather a compliment, someone who brings a different perspective and enriches your life with their uniqueness. Appreciate their passions, even if they're not your own. You don't have to love the same things, but showing interest and understanding in what your partner loves strengthens the bond between you. It's about respect and validation, acknowledging that their interests and hobbies are important and valuable. Don't try to change them to fit your ideal. Accept them as they are, with all their eccentricities and peculiarities. It's these little idiosyncrasies that make them who they are, that make your relationship vibrant and diverse. Remember, it's about celebrating differences, not erasing them. Practice open communication. Discuss your differences, express your feelings, and listen to your partner's thoughts and feelings. This will cultivate trust and deepen your connection, allowing individuality to flourish within the relationship. Lesson 10. Fostering shared interests and experiences. While cherishing your partner's individuality is important, Building shared interests and experiences together plays an equally crucial role in strengthening your bond. Shared interests provide a common ground, 
a point of connection that can bridge differences and foster communication. They build a sense of familiarity and comfort that can enrich your relationship and deepen your understanding of each other. Don't worry if you and your partner don't have many shared interests to begin with. You can always cultivate them together. Start by exploring each other's hobbies. You might find you have a latent interest in your partner's passion for photography or their love for hiking. Be open-minded and give it a go. You'll not only gain a new hobby but also get to spend quality time with your partner. Sharing experiences is also a great way to build a stronger bond. It could be as simple as going for a walk in the park or as grand as traveling to a foreign country together. Shared experiences create shared memories, which are the threads that weave your lives together. They give you stories to tell, laughter to share, and challenges to overcome together. Moving through life's ever-changing landscape, you and your partner will inevitably face various challenges and shifts. It's a given. Whether it's a new job, a move to a different city, the birth of a child or even retirement, these transformations can put stress on your relationship. But don't fret. Adapting to life changes isn't only possible but can also strengthen your bond if handled with understanding, patience and flexibility. Firstly, remember that it's okay to feel overwhelmed or anxious. Life transformations, even positive ones, can be stressful. It's perfectly normal to experience a range of emotions. However, don't let these emotions drive your reactions. Instead, use them as a signal that you need to communicate openly and honestly with your partner. Discuss your fears, your hopes, your expectations, and listen to theirs. Secondly, be patient with each other. Change can be hard, and it's natural to resist it. You're both journeying through new territory, and it's likely that you'll stumble along the way. But that's okay. It's these stumbles and how you handle them that help you grow as individuals and as a couple. Lastly, be flexible. Adaptability is an essential skill in managing life changes. It's about adjusting your sails to the winds of change rather than trying to control the wind. Remember, you're in this together. Support each other, learn from each other, and most importantly, love each other through these transformations. Because life's changes aren't just challenges, they're opportunities for your relationship to evolve and strengthen. Lesson 11. Maintaining passion and intimacy over time. Just as you navigate life's shifting tides together, it's equally essential to keep the spark alive in your relationship, nurturing passion and intimacy over the years. Passion and intimacy aren't just inherent feelings, they're also practices that need to be cultivated and nurtured regularly. Now, let's dive deeper. Maintaining passion requires a conscious effort. It's not about grand gestures all the time, even small, everyday actions can fan the flames of desire. Compliment your partner, express your love, and show appreciation often. Make sure there's room for spontaneity in your relationship. Surprise dinner dates or unplanned trips can reignite the spark. Intimacy, on the other hand, is about being truly seen and understood. It's about creating a safe space where both of you can express your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Engage in deep, meaningful conversations. Share your dreams, fears and experiences. Listen attentively when your partner speaks and make them feel valued and heard. Despite the common desire for a flawless partnership, it's important to acknowledge that every relationship has its unique imperfections, and that's okay. It's these imperfections that add depth and richness to your relationship, making it uniquely yours. No two relationships are identical. What works for one couple may not work for another. It's these differences that shape the relationship and make it special. Imperfections aren't just about accepting your partner's quirks or habits. They're about embracing the challenges that arise in your relationship. It's about understanding that disagreements, conflicts, and hardships are part and parcel of any relationship. They're not necessarily signs of a failing relationship, but opportunities for growth and learning. They help you understand your partner better and strengthen your bond. Embracing imperfections also means acknowledging your own flaws. It's about being open about your vulnerabilities, your fears and your insecurities. It's about showing your true self to your partner 
without the fear of judgment or rejection. Lesson 12. Fostering a supportive and encouraging environment. Creating a supportive and encouraging atmosphere in your relationship is crucial as it forms the foundation for mutual respect, trust and growth. Your bond will flourish when you both nurture an environment where each other's dreams, ambitions and personal growth are prioritised. It's not about always agreeing, but about understanding and accepting each other's perspectives. Listen attentively to your partner's thoughts and feelings, validating their experiences even if you don't fully grasp them. This will make your partner feel seen, heard and cherished. Remember, everyone wants to feel understood and valued, and when you make efforts in this direction, you're building a supportive atmosphere. Encouragement, too, is a fundamental part of this process. Be your partner's cheerleader, motivating them to pursue their interests and passions. This doesn't mean pushing them into what you want, but empowering them to be the best they can be. Show genuine enthusiasm for their achievements, no matter how small, and reassure them during challenging times. This kind of encouragement fosters self-confidence and strengthens the bond between you two. However, always remember that being supportive and encouraging doesn't equate to losing your own identity. Maintain a balance between supporting your partner and nurturing your own needs and aspirations. A truly supportive and encouraging environment thrives on mutual respect for individuality and shared dreams. Marking the milestones of your relationship is like lighting beacons on your shared journey, each one symbolizing a unique memory and achievement. These are the moments that help strengthen the bond between you and your partner. They're not just dates on a calendar, but markers of your growth as a couple. Celebrating these milestones isn't about extravagant gestures or expensive gifts. It's about acknowledging your journey and appreciating your partner's role in it. The first I love you, the day you moved in together, your first anniversary, all are powerful reminders of your shared experiences and deepening love, Remember, it's the little things that often matter the most. The everyday victories, the small steps forward, the shared laughter and tears. Each celebration is a reaffirmation of your commitment, a nod to your shared past, and a toast to your future. It's an opportunity to express gratitude, to remember why you fell in love, and to fall in love all over again. Celebrate these moments with authenticity and sincerity. Write a heartfelt letter, cook a special meal, or simply spend quality time together. These acts of love aren't just about the celebration itself, but about the love, respect, and admiration you have for each other. In the end, celebrating your milestones is about cherishing the journey you're on together. It's about building a history, creating memories, and strengthening your bond. So go ahead, light those beacons, and illuminate the path of your love story. You might think finding a perfect match is impossible, but it's about finding someone ideally suited for you. This journey requires self-discovery, understanding your relationship needs, embracing imperfections, and fostering a supportive environment. Remember, love isn't about perfection, but about growing together. With patience and shared values, you can nurture a fulfilling relationship. Embrace this book's wisdom and let it guide you in identifying your ideal partner. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for listening.